Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's Pick A Card Reading and it is His Current Thoughts. So, for anyone new to the, reading, uh, to the readings with me, my name's Kat, welcome. I hope you enjoy today's reading. Um, his Current Thoughts is probably um, an answer to your burning question about your particular someone or it could be a general overview. If you're a regular to the channel, this is more like a weekly update. Um, so, um, remember that it is general, it is intuitive, so some of the messages might not resonate. Just take whatever does and leave what doesn't. Um, if you'd like a private reading with me, you can check the description box below. Um, at the time of recording, I'm doing, doing readings within four days, so you'll get it quite quickly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's reading. Um, do I need to tell you anything else? I don't think so. Remember, this is his, his current thoughts. So it's not what he's going to do, it's not a higher perspective, it's not advice, it's just his current thoughts. So, hope this makes sense. Here we go. His or her current thoughts. Okay. Eight of Cups, Five of Wands, Seven, uh, sorry, the Chariot, uh, Strength and Raise Your Vibration. So, his or her current thoughts are that they're trying to move on from some sort of low vibe. They're trying to be strong double eight here they're trying to overcome their problems this is what this is about you've got the strength card and the chariot card together this is very powerful chariot card is about overcoming external obstacles the strength card is about overcoming internal obstacles so this person is doing everything they can to try and overcome their obstacles their inner and outer obstacles they're trying to get past the low vibe the difficult situations around them, the niggling situations around them, the difficult people around them. They're trying to break free of that low vibe and move beyond. Ace of Cups is saying they're trying to move on from an old situation. It's a situation that no longer serves them. It's not necessarily bad, although for some, this is an addiction card. So if you're talking about or inquiring about someone who has some sort of addiction, this is about them trying to get into a recovery and move on from that situation. For some of you, though, this is about someone who's moving on from a pe person, a job, a situation, event that used to serve them, but no longer serves them. So this can be a card that comes up when there's a situation where things, you know, maybe a situation was good for them in the past, but now it doesn't serve them anymore. And it's time for them to move on. OK, so that's what it's all about. Trying to move on raising your vibration that's what they're trying to do they're trying to raise their energy raise their vibration and move into a better situation that's their current thoughts so i hope that makes sense loads of love see you on the next reading on a private reading in the meantime this is really positive this person's really on it okay good hi group two his or her current thoughts We've got the two of coins, the seven of coins, the page of wands, the queen of wands, live your soul, not a role. Okay, so this person is one is feeling totally overwhelmed or has felt very overwhelmed, but they're really thinking about how to reinvent their life or their situation. Now, this could be their life or it could be the situation with you. It's going to depend differently, but you'll know. You already know, so that's fine. So just look at your situation. So um, what they're saying is that this person is has kind of hit the pause button. They're kind of trying to evaluate and decide which way, which way now are they going to go? Are they going to go this way? Are they going to go that way? They've got an opportunity to keep going on the track that they've started out on or change tracks whatever they're doing they're starting to feel a fire inside of them passion they're starting to really focus on what they truly want what they truly need what's truly right for them live your soul not a role it's all about doing what is in their heart and soul they're feeling more self-actualized they're feeling more alive they're feeling more empowered you know, if if you are a female energy and they are coming towards you, this could be the page of wands, could be them coming towards you as the queen of wands. So it could be that you are an inspiration to them. You are a leading light to them. You are drawing them, you know, towards you. Uh, but the page of wands is saying this person wants to start something new, investigate something, go into more of a, 
a fulfilling situation and they are moving towards that. That's what they want to do. They are feeling quite overwhelmed at the minute or things have felt quite overwhelming, but now they're trying to move beyond that and look for solutions. They've been thinking a lot about where they want to place their time and energy and what's right for them. And they're looking to do something new and inspiring. They're starting to look for options that mean that they're moving away from this phony or fake or not really completely right for them situation. Something that could be all about money or practicality. Um, it could be just something that's not right for them. And instead of juggling all these situations, they're looking to move forward and to be truly and authentically, authentically, sorry, on the right track for them. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love. See you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. So his or her current thoughts. What's going on? We've got the Nine of Cups. We've got the Four of Coins. We've got the Two of Cups. We've got the Magician and Engage Higher Reason. So this person is feeling a lot of love, joy, happiness towards you most likely. Okay. They are feeling very, a lot of pleasure, a lot of happiness with the Nine of Cups. They feel very fulfilled. It's very interesting because they are feeling very fulfilled, feeling very good, but they're also engaging higher reasoning. They're thinking about things logically. They're approaching things from a logical point of view. So they're very much tuned into what makes sense. The Four of Coins is saying that this, yes, with the engage higher reasoning and Four of Coins, although they're feeling a lot of love, a lot of happiness, a lot of potential and with the manifest card, with the magician, they have a lot of opportunity to, to make something happen, to magic something up, to manifest the situation, to start again. But there is something that's keeping them, holding them back. There could be two in their head, engage higher reasoning. They're two up in their head. Because of the four of coins, I see this more, not as a negative thing, but they're very much in their um their reasoning so i'm 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 interpreting this card intuitively it's not the meaning of the card um so cuz higher reasoning is not this way but i feel like this is about thinking rather than intuiting so some of the reasons this person is not manifesting exactly what they want or they're not manifesting as quickly as they could or they're not getting to manifest this love and this connection to the level that they would like to, it's because they're up in their head and they're being very practical. They're fearful about money or about a practical situation or about ending up in the same situation they were in before. So they're holding on. But what they're actually doing is they're dragging the past into the present and the future. But this person feels a lot of love. This person feels a lot of connection. This person looks to me like they want to start some sort of deeper emotional connection with you, whether you're just friends, whether you're just even like online associates or know each other in this way, or whether you're actually in a relationship with this person. Wherever you're at, this person looks to is looking to make it more. They want to manifest more. But their fears and their worries about repeating past experiences is somewhat getting in the way. But the feelings for you are definitely there. The pleasure is there. The happiness is there. So I hope that makes sense. Loads of love. See you on the next reading. Or in a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Bye.